On January 3rd, 1919, a significant meeting took place between Chaim Weizmann and the Emir Faisal, the son of Sheriff Hussein. Right before the peace conference, the two made the Faisal Weizmann Agreement. The agreement declared Palestine to be the Jewish national home and said that it wouldn't be included in the proposed Arab state. In other words, Faisal accepted that the Arab state and Palestine were to be separate entities. Faisal also promised to support large-scale Jewish immigration to Palestine. Considering the current conflict in Israel-Palestine today, it's hard to believe now what the provisions in the agreement said. They said, the parties are mindful of the racial kinship and ancient bonds existing between the Arabs and the Jewish people, and realize that the surest means of working out the consummation of their national aspirations is through the closest possible collaboration in the development of the Arab state and Palestine. Are you wondering what happened? Well, just after they signed the agreement, the Paris Peace Conference began. Paris became the world's government, and the Supreme Council of the Allied Powers created new borders, which were recognized as law. These decisions changed the maps of Europe and the Middle East forever. The League of Nations was also formed during the Peace Conference, as well as their charter. Article 22 in their charter was very relevant to the former Ottoman territories. It said that the well-being and development of specific peoples not yet able to stand by themselves ought to become a sacred trust of civilization. The article became the basis of the mandate system. Nations like Great Britain and France became responsible for guiding other peoples. Three weeks after the Arabs made their pitch at the peace conference for a unified state in the Middle East, the Zionist organization made their request for a Jewish state to the Supreme Council. The Arab delegation knew about the Zionist territorial requests and supported them. Faisal even sent a letter to Felix Frankfurter, an American delegate at the conference, emphasizing Arab support, saying, we will wish the Jews a most hearty welcome home. The letter talked about Arab and Jewish similarities and Arab sympathy with the Zionist movement. It discussed the need for cooperation between Arabs and Jews to achieve both people's goals for their own states in the new Middle East. The Paris Peace Conference produced peace treaties between the Allied Powers and the European Central Powers, but not with Turkey. And it didn't answer two burning questions. Which countries would be in charge of the lands of Palestine, Syria, and Iraq? And where would the borders of these lands be?